So when setting up this uh, arc cam flow sensor, uh, these, these connectors on the back, these connectors on the back are going to be uh, pointing towards the back or going into the direction of the back of the vehicle. So there's a little X, Y, uh, little reference there. So it's going to, it's going to look uh, something like, like this where the, the connectors are are pointing towards the back and uh, there's also there's also one on this side as well for reference and of course you know you want your optical flow and distance sensor pointing down so you want it in a downward orientation so I'm gonna go ahead and mount that up there So setting up the arc flow sensor, you can just prefer the PX4 user guide. It's gonna tell you everything. Um, the wiring uh, mounting orientation, I'll walk you through that. And then uh, make sure uh, you have uh, UAV CAN enabled. I set mine to two. Uh, don't set it to three unless you have the ESCs. And then uh, as far as the Q ground control parameters, your EKF28 mask set to two, and then uh, here's the other EKF2 and uh, UAV can, plus the sense uh, flow parameters. Just set them to what it has in the user guide. Right, we got optical flow. Uh, I had some issues with EKF2 range. I had disabled it, so enabled it, and I've got a pretty stable hold right here. There's no calibration. Let's take it up higher. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful?
Again, EKF2 range had to be enabled for it to be stable like this using the arc can flow. So we've been moving around a little bit. Uh, now we're just in a hover. And you can tell there's great vertical stability. Uh, optical flow does a good job of the horizontal position hold. There's no GPS enabled. It's just flow. That is a rock solid position hold. See, we got some wind here. Pretty high. It's still doing pretty good. Get it up a little bit higher. Take it out, bring it back in. There she is.